With this clip, I'd like to compare and contrast present perfect, which is like I have eaten or they have spoken, with hard future, which is like I will eat or they will speak. Okay? Present perfect is a, as, a, amos, an. I have, you have, he has, we have, they have. And we talked about this blue dotted line could kind of represent water. The letter E is floating on top. The letter E is floating on top, and the letter A is heavy, so A-S-A-A-N sinks. It's sort of a sinking verb. Now, let's look at hard future. Hard future, you write out the whole verb, whether it's A-R, E-R, I-R, and you add these endings, E, A-S, A, E-M-O-S, A-N. Hold it, Mr. Halt. The present perfect ends in E, A-S-A, E-M-O-S-A-N, and hard future ends in E-A-S-A-E-M-O-S-A-N, right? It's the same letters. Hard future is sort of a floating verb. Me, I will eat, there's an E on top of the water. We will eat, there's an E on top of the water. And A is a heavy letter, so these three sank. So I want you to realize the very striking similarity between present perfect prefixes and hard future. All right. Now notice, hard future has accents on the yo, to, el, eos form. It's sort of a boot verb. So hard future is both a boot verb and a sinking verb. Okay. So just I wanted to point that out to you. Cool.